Find the mean, median, and mode of the data, if possible. If any of these measures cannot be found, or a measure does not represent the center of the data, explain why. So these are quantitative data. I can easily send them to StatCrunch and then find their mean, median, and mode. All right, hold on. Let me show you what I clicked on. I clicked on this little box, and I clicked on Open in StatCrunch. Another window popped up on my other window screen, uh, well, another uh, monitor screen. So that's what it is. They just, we don't have to manually enter it. But what did they want? They wanted mean, median, mode. So take a look. Go to stat, summary stat, and click on columns because all our data is typed in column one. Click on bar one, and then just click on everything you want. You want mean, scroll down and find median, and scroll down and click on mode. What I'm clicking on is a command button on my keyboard to select more than one measure. You may have to hold down to your control key on your keyboard if you want more than one thing to pop up because if you just click on mean and go down and click on median, it's not going to select mean and median. Look, it changes. So that's why I'm clicking on mean, uh, holding down my command button on my keyboard, and then all the way down in mode. That's it. Computer da. Found it all. Just got to enter these. So if you want to do these by hand, it's going to be a little more work than this. But if you use stack crunch, it's going to be super easy. Uh, the mean cholesterol is 182.8. The median is, um, well, hold on. Does the mean represent the center of the data? I don't know because, I mean, why not, right? Um, it does. It does represent the center. But the question is, is it a good measure of center? If there is an outlier, I would go with median. So if you want to check that, I don't think we're going really all into that. But if you ever want to check if a data set has a outlier. Okay, hold on. Make a box plot and there's no outlier. You see, there's no dot plotted anywhere. So without an outlier, I think mean is going to be a very good measure. So the mean represents the center. That's my answer. And then let's do the median. The median was 185. I was able to find that. And of course, yeah, why not? Median represents the center. That's another very popular measure of um, center. Last one, mode. Is there a mode? 230. Oh, hold on a second. Um, I don't think that represents the center here because look, the average was 182. The mean, median, I mean, 230 is just, it's just too far out, right? It's one of the, it's actually a maximum. I don't think it represents center. So I'll tell them that the mode is 230, but this time it is not a good measure because the mode does not represent the center because it is the largest data value. That's what happened here, right? 230 was just, and it just happened to be repeating in this data set, but 230 is the biggest number, it's not the center. So in this case, the mean or median will be a better uh, measure of central tendency. I will go with mean this time because there's no uh, apparent outlier, but that's how you can do. And this was question number seven on section 2.3 homework.